this monkey 1000. <laughs> Shea Bear just jumped about 10 feet back because I was loud. Anyways, today I am going to do my garden. Finally, finally, I've got my little bed here that Shea Bear made me, if you can see. So it's been here for how many years, dear? <laughs> yeah, two years, and of course, I've been wanting to use this and never get to. So now that I have some time, I went to the store and I bought some garden stuff and I bought some tomato plant, plants and everything. So I'm going to clean this out and Shaver is going to drill some holes in the bottom to let the water go out of it, um, you know. And I'm going to plant my plants. I did not buy a bunch of them. I wanted to see how many I could put in here and stuff like that. So I'll probably have to go to the store and get some more. So. Um, you know, I wasn't able to maybe do seeds. It's a little late for tomatoes for that, so we, I bought the plants. Anyways, stay tuned. I'll be back. Okay, so we got it cleaned up. Sorry. And now he's going to drill holes in it. So, uh, he's going to, how many holes are you putting in it? Probably a hundred. About a hundred holes to let the water all go through it. Okay. So when that gets done, we'll show it to you. Right, babe? Yep. All right. What are you doing? <laughs> I'm trying to get the soil back here. We got two tractors sitting there. You're using a wheelbarrow with a flat tire. I heard all kinds of commotion. I turned around. <laughs> I said, let me give you a hand with that. I meant I'll give you a hand with... Hey, hang on. Let me help you with that. <laughs> let, let me help you with that. I got to go help her. You can't push it. Okay, everyone. We got our holes in. Shea Bear did them for me. And hopefully you can see some of them. I don't know. We'll get him close, and we put, he put it, ended up having about 110 holes. He just wants to make it sure it's going to be able to drain if it's raining, or I have to water it, and all that. So, that's what we're doing. Okay? It's a little moist because, you know, it's had rain. We had that heavy rain the other night, so. But we got everything out the best we can, so now we're going to put our soil in. And what I've got... I got cow manure, which I'm going to put some in there, and then I got um, miracle Grow that's um, for, for raising beds, so I got two of them because I didn't know how many I was going to need. So what we're going to do is pour some of the cow manure in first, and then I'm going to take some... We're going to do half and half. That's what I'm going to do. So we'll do half and half and mix it up. Okay? And I'll show you when What's I get done. That? What? What's in that stuff? Chicken poop. What'd you say earlier? I don't know. Chicken shit. Well, <laughs> we're on YouTube. Exactly. You can say that stuff. All right. So anyway, so I'm going to bring you back over here for a moment. And I got to get some scissors so I can open these bags and we'll pour it in. Stay tuned. Okay, we got our cow manure in here. I did use the whole bag. We're going to spread it out with the, um, with the, uh, what do they call that? With the soil, <laughs> the bedding soil that we use. So I'm just spreading it out, kind of going to mix it in together. Make sure it's good. No, I don't have any compost, so I probably need to make my own. Um, this is my first time really doing any of thing like this, so to me, this was simple, and simple is good. And we have Shea Bear over here. He's kind of going to smooth it out into those corners for me, and just kind of mix it up like it's a cocktail. Far from a cocktail. Mm-hmm. Starting to stink. Smells like cow manure. It is cow manure. 
but it should give it a nice, you know, soil, and it should be really good, I think, because, you know, hopefully this will work good. Here. Ooh, I got the poo on me. Oh, you're used to it. Movie reference. M movie reference? Yes. He says, I got the poo on me. And so I told him to go get the plants, you know, the few plants that I bought. I only bought a few. So he brings home, I mean, brings back from the truck into the backyard. He brings that one. Right. I and wasn't done yet. Right there. You see it over there, sitting there? That's all he did. He brought one. Just one. So... I thought maybe he was trying to to not lift too much. Maybe. So you're doing a great job. Thank you. That looks pretty good, don't you think? One semester of horticulture. Well, I did it too. I drove a tractor. Horticulture? Yeah, sure did. Grade nine. You went on a farm. Well, I was on a farm when I was in grade three. But I did farming for um, school in grade nine. And he brought the tractor and brought it into the school in the backyard where the football field was. And we got to drive it. He so was, you didn't plow anything? Or? No, we just got to drive it. Heck, don't let me plow nothing might not make it through it so anyway it was fun and we went to, to a few places so I think that's probably about it we were gonna put another board here across but then I gotta lean over and my stomach's gonna go it's gonna well, we hurt to make it even with this. so we can make it even maybe to this this is what he wants even right here. Well, you so, gotta have enough for the because for the, I don't know if you can see to take root. Yeah, so we'll put it even to that board That's right why there. I wanted it so. over. Okay, so what you want to add more more of that in there? I got two of them, so I want to even with this board because okay. right now, yeah, that's it. You yeah, can't, there's wood right there. You see. Right. So we gotta put another bag in. So we're going to do that, and then we'll, we'll come back. <laughs> so they bring the soil back for me from the front. So we're going to use that bag, and I'll buy me another bag for uh, my flowers up front. Bruno likes the ride. He likes to have fun. <laughs> okay, guys, we're back. We got all the soil in there. We hope we don't have too much fertilizer in there, but it looks pretty good. Um, he's going to plant the first one, the tomato plant here that we have. We're going to go long ways. I mean, it is square, but it seems to be wider. I mean, going that way. So we're going to have them look, look, looking long. I'm going to get another one of those. I only have one, right? Yes, and but I have, we have two cherry tomatoes. Yeah, we have two ch cherry tomatoes. So then we'll, I guess we'll make them wherever you want to go and that's the way we're going to do it so well we can put the cherry tomatoes here yeah in the next row we'll put another one thirty-six inches apart mm -hmm. I've never put my tomatoes thirty-six inches apart that's three feet Huh? That's three feet. Yeah. I've never went more than two. Yeah. No. I think you'd be fine. You could probably space them right here. And you could probably do three or four if you want. I think it would be fine. I'm sure. Well, I wouldn't go three or four down. If you wanted, we could get two more. Put one there and one there. Yeah. Okay. That would give you three. And then we'll do these. These are the little ones. These are called the Super Sweet 100. Super Sweet 100 Hybrid Cherry. Tomorrow. Yeah. So there you go. Where you want these at? And well, you're gonna go. 
this way, so you're gonna go that way. So probably there somewhere. Right here. Yeah. The reason why I'm staying away from the edges is so it can root. Right. Right. It's okay. Hopefully I'm getting you in there. Have to... 36 inches apart. No way. There we go. So I just gotta put the cherry tomatoes in. Smell. Hmm? The smell of this mm -hmm. reminds me of my grandma in the garden. Oh, yeah? Nah. Mm -hmm. There's the other one. So we're going to put this one about right here. Okay. And then we'll put, if you want, two more plants. It don't matter. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's too close. I didn't want to buy too many because I wasn't sure how many we could put in this bed and I wanted to get an idea, you know, how far apart they have to be before I bought a b bunch of them. <laughs> well, you just wanted a little bed. That's yeah, I didn't want a big bed because there's only the two of us and I don't need a lot of tomatoes. And No, but I can can. Yeah, we can let you do that. Because down here in Florida, Florida, you can't just plant a garden in the yard. No. Without putting spending mm -hmm. several hundred dollars on enough soil oh, to I plant mean. in. That's right. So that's why we got to have these raised garden beds. Yeah. Yeah. Now those are going where? I guess behind. This is the green bell peppers and this one's the sweet pepper. This is the big Bertha pepper. Okay. So you could put it, you know. I'll tell you what. We can put another cherry tomato here. Uh-huh. Tomatoes here. All right. And so one more pepper. So okay. we'll just have peppers and tomatoes. Yeah, we can do that for this year, and then yeah. next year we can graduate. Well, that means I'll have to build a bigger box. Well, maybe. Another box. Like a head of lettuce and so, stuff like that. But this, this is... This is going to go about the middle. Yeah. This is going to go about right here. All right. And then I'll put some wood or something up here, screw it on, and we'll run run that string across. Yeah, I see your finger. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then as it grows, I'll put another string right. tied to the string. Yeah, yeah. So I thought this would be the best way to do a garden because our sand is sand. And yeah, my mother tried. She, she had a garden up in Oklahoma there for a while, but it just didn't work out. I'm not saying it can't be done, but you got to bring in so much soil. Yeah, and she did. Same. She had a tiller, and she tilled it and everything. They worked hard on it, and it came up, but it was a lot of work for her. And I thought, well, a small bed, just put a few things in there, see how we do. You know, I never really garden. My mother has. Um, she knows more than I do about it, but... Um, she, she she had a really nice garden up in Canada. Gorgeous, well, yeah, gorgeous you garden. Got, you got dirt. Up yeah, there. yeah. So we had good soil up there, so the it was not just hard. A peninsula is all it is. Yeah. And uh, it's just sand. And I didn't want to get overwhelmed either because we have, you know, we're busy. So yeah, you know, we want to make sure this is going to grow. And I mean, I think this will work out nicely. You know. Well, we'll save money on tomatoes. Yeah, and they're very expensive right now. Put another plant there, one there, two over there. Yeah, that'll work. <coughs> That's a good idea. This guy here doesn't want to stand up, but if you put the dirt up too high, it'll actually rot the stem off. Right. So I'm gonna put a little stick in there. Yeah, help him up. He help looks a little, up. little welted there. Yeah. So I think it looks cute. We'll get a, a few more. I can go out and get them today, so that's no biggie. Um, it'll only take me a few minutes. Yeah, that'll help hold him up until he gets big enough to get those to climb. And I need to get another bag of soil or two. I'm probably gonna have to get two because I gotta put the roses in the ground. Oh, okay. two. Two bags. Yeah. So I'll get two two bags and. 
Hopefully that worked pretty good. Alrighty. So there you go, guys. There's my my garden. <laughs> the beginning of one. We're farming. We got the John Deere yep. tractor out. Yeah, we have the John Deere here with us. And yeah, we've been tractoring. And there you go. I'm glad I get to use it now. I, I wish I had done this last year. And I, things just were not good. The before last would have been nice when I built yep. it. Yeah, but it's just one thing after another, or we weren't here. We were gone. So now this time we're going to we're going to do it this year. Yeah. So, anyways, Monkey says she's gonna go for now, and uh, I got to go to the store and get me some more tomatoes and a bell pepper. Yep, and one cherry. Okay, y'all. Hope you enjoy the video and. Stay tuned, there'll be more coming. So, monkey's out for now. Bye, y'all.